Welcome to the Pokemon Uprising. I'm your leader, Zid51, aka Shirt Queen 4. Today I'm bringing you the second episode for Pokemon Storm Silver Egglock. The first episode received so much support. I think that's really awesome. I am currently sitting on like approximately 80 eggs, which is what I hope to set as a minimum anyway. And the likes went through the roof for someone my size. I was very surprised to see it get 14 likes. Hopefully we can continue that support. Uh, I'm really hesitant about raising the like goal so that's going to be the common question of the day what's the like goal going to be guys i'll let you guys decide in the comment section below so last episode not much happened we basically just got started our journey we have four powerful pokemon i had to slow this game down okay so archimedes is actually jasper i screwed up i am very sorry to the person who sent the egg which would have been my friend beck so, yeah, uh, we still have Adamantium, Integral, and Proxens here as well. All of them have very powerful movesets. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on. I'm going to go... Actually, no, I'm going to go to the Pokemon Mart first because a smart shopper is a... I don't know, a living shopper? Because, I mean, I don't want to lose. Okay, I don't want airmail. I really like I just need potions give me potions okay so I can buy I okay so I I have 900 in bag but I still can't use them that's so stupid so I'm gonna buy five of these I'm gonna buy five of these guys and I'm gonna grab a couple man what is up with this tech speed I'm sure I selected fast I really don't know what's up with this. Okay, so now I have access to five of everything. And I already have enough Pokeballs because they did give us 15 as a matter of fact. So we are going to start going up north. Okay, so we're on Route 30 right now. So Jasper, let's see what Jasper can do. Uh, it is a Caterpie, so bugs do bugs just get completely roasted by fire type attacks. Uh, okay, let's go. Blaze kick it. I was just taking a look through some of the items that some of these Pokemon are holding, and it gave me good hints as to what they are. And some of the items are just absolutely ridiculous. Like, well, not ridiculous in a bad way. Ridiculous in a good way, rather. I'm gonna raise up. Proc sense because you're the new addition to the team. I want to see you get some action. Come on. Another Caterpie. I'm going to speed this up. So you have Flamethrower, Ancient Power. I'm going to go for Flamethrower. That sunny day is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, I could get set up between Chimchar and Charmander. This thing, like, Sunny Day could just absolutely wreck house. Okay, so we have a Weedle up in this bitch. I also got a brand new logo. You guys might have noticed. Uh, a friend of mine who is the CEO of Blackout Media, some network of freedom, designed that for me. I, uh, I did, like, pitch in a little bit, but for the most part, it was his design. He's a really great guy. You should go check him out. I'll link his channel in the description below. And I mean, okay, is this like the mock Youngster Joey? Okay, it is Youngster Joey. And it has the Rattata. So this is the real deal. I'm scared. This is the real deal. I'm going to go for Ancient Power just because I can. Wow. Holy shit. This is top tier Rattata here. That was scary. Okay, I survived. I survived, and I took out the Rattata. Rattata, Rattata. It wants to learn Ember. Why would I sacrifice Flamethrower for Ember? Give up on Ember. Goodbye. Holy crap, that was scary. Yeah, of course you can have my number. You're like the greatest trainer ever. So I'm going to give you my number. With that top tier Rattata, you need to give me some like training advice, man. I really want some of your training advice. Okay, 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 calm down, turn down, turn down, turn down. I actually gonna race it to 1.5 speed, because that's reasonable. I think it's reasonable. We're gonna switch into integral and uh, move forward. And this girl was never really a fighter before. Okay, so she wants to give us a lesson in flower power. 
There are no powers and flowers. I'm sorry. But ooh, I can handle this pretty easily. I can just oh, well, I can uh, I can ice punch or fire punch. I'm gonna go for the ice punch. Chance to freeze. I mean, come on now. Of course you go for the ice punch. Freeze for me, and it doesn't happen. You can go for the absorb all you want. It's not gonna do much. I'm just gonna like keep bouncing between speeds because the speed up button just like skips frames. It doesn't really accomplish anything for me. Wants to learn Thunder Shock. I'm gonna give up on Thunder Shock. Now you're gonna send a Centret, to which I have a nice, beautiful crash chop for you, and you die. Thank the Lord. It was an Oko. See that? I can handle this with the Integral. Man, Elekid is putting in some serious work right now, and I didn't know the CDOT could learn Quick Attack. Okay, so you're gonna go for another Quick Attack, and I'm gonna Fire Punch you into Oblivion! Integral is just gaining level so fast. Cherubi, another... Okay, I, I have to, like... I want to give... Ar uh, well, Jasper. Archimedes, Jasper, whatever. Whatever. When I get to a name raider, I will change it, Okay. Okay, so that was also an Oko, and Archimedes gains a level, also known as Jasper. I feel so unprofessional for getting. Did she just say she was behizzled? What? What does that mean? I'm gonna run back to the Pokemon Center, because it would be the smart... You know what? No, 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 no. I am going to switch Adamantium to the front. Adamantium can tank hits for days, given its typing. I'm going to go back to where I came from. Come on, just let me get a move on. I want to get as much done in this episode as I can. I'm going to Iron Head. You doesn't even, that doesn't even affect me. Catch this Iron Head. Catch this Iron Head. We're going to go this way. Uh, there's another route upcoming. I do know that much. No encounter, no encounters. And an encounter. Darn it! I thought I was going to get off scot free. Okay, so we have an iron head for you, Metapod. You're going to harden, but this should still kill you because you're not hardened enough. And we are going to fight this trainer right here. Did they really. I'm not sure if this was Dreano's doing or the actual creators of the game. Honestly. They they really actually they they, they made a call uh, what? They made a call me maybe reference. What is this? Like holy crap. I mean it was a bad song as it was. There was no need of it being in a Pokemon game. But okay. Okay, you go for the growl. I'll just body slam you and you die. And now Adamantium is also lovely. He wants to learn Mud Slap. No, thank you. Yes. And now we're going to go up this way. We already talked to our mother. They forcefully made us talk to our mother. And now we are going to fight a Shinx. This is a new route. This is a new route so I can actually catch this thing. That's great. That's great news. Okay, you go for the bite. I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Pokeball. Catch it for me. Catch it. Catch it. Yeah. Yeah. That's one more token. Okay. That's one more token for another egg. The extension and contraction of its muscles generates electricity. Its fur glows when it's in trouble. It is the Flash Pokemon. I I want to give it a nickname, but where it's a token, it doesn't really serve much purpose. Okay, so there's a Buizel. I'm actually afraid of this Buizel. Can't escape! Okay, there we go. And now I can get an encounter in this cave. And that would be two more Pokemon. Come on, give me something. Okay, it's a Zubat. Question, Body Slam, will you kill? You better not kill. Oh, well, apparently I hurt myself in confusion anyway. Okay, okay, we're good. This is perfect. That is just the right range. So we're going to go for a Pokeball. 
This should catch the Zubat, I'm hoping. And that's it! We caught the Zubat! So now we have two tokens. Capable of flying safely in dark places, it emits ultrasonic cries to check for any obstacles. Well, of course it does, because it doesn't have any eyes. Okay, so now we are going to... I think there's a bug catcher up ahead, actually. A potion? How handy dandy! Come on, let's go! I want to fight this bug trainer and get it over with. Okay, come on, dude. So he caught a bunch of Pokemon. He is the guy that believes in quantity over quality. If I'm correct. Bug catcher Wade. I have an uncle named Wade. So Spinarak is actually much higher level than I thought, but oh well, the Iron Head, like you just caught a bunch of Iron Heads. Okay, so have a Surskit. I'm going to Integral for that nice and powerful Thunder Punch. That Thunder Punch is just going to be so amazing. Okay, come on, Surskit. Get out here. And the Thunder Punch Oko's it anyway. Ladyba. What type is Ladyba? Oh, well, I think it's Archimedes' turn. Well, Jasper's turn, okay? Jasper. And I missed, and you got the Super Sonic off. This is some bull. Okay, Blaze Kick does not miss, and I get a crit that turn. Yes. I'm pretty sure I... I, I thought for sure I said it. I put it to set. I don't know. We are going to go back into Indigo for that nice and powerful Ice Punch. Ice punch for days. Come on, die. And you didn't die, and that was four times effective. What is this madness? Okay, here we go. That's it. I'm probably going to have to grind for the next episode. Uh, I like you. I look for Pokemon here every day. When I'm in the tall grass, I'll find all kinds of berries. If you'd like, I'd share some. Yeah, sure. I like berries. Give me some berries. You'll hear from me as soon as I find anything that you might like. I just need sustenance, dude. I don't care what kind of berries it is. I don't care. So let's go. We are almost to the first city, which is Violet City, where the city of the first gym exists. City, city, city. City. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center, exchange my two Pokemon, heal up, and probably... I knew it was you, Brady! How did you get past me? Here's something neat for surprise! Versus recorder. Like, this is going to be any good to me. Okay, no, no, just get lost. Get lost. Take your marrow and get lost. I don't like you. Okay, so we are now in Violet City. There's a lot going on in this city. And we can actually, there, there, we can, I'm really not sure about event Pokemon. I do want to take event Pokemon as well. Because, I mean, event Pokemon still count as Pokemon regardless. I'm not sure if that would count as our city encounter or if that, like, what would be, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so, I would like to take a quiz, yes. Uh, are, where, blah, 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 yes. There was. Correct. More than 13 feet long. Correct. No. Bulbasaur was not the first Pokemon created. Can Trobius be found within Dawn of Pearl? No. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick Bulbasaur. My party is too full. If you make me take that quiz again just because my party is full, I'm going to slap you. Okay, first of all, I'm going to... I'm going to exchange Pokemon first, actually. Okay, so I need to pick a random Pokemon here. And... We're here. Okay, so Pristo Black. Pristo Black. I think that's supposed to be how it's pronounced because of the question mark on the end. Uh, I need to take its item, but I will remember, I will remember what, uh, what the, 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 the name is. So, Crystal Black, huh? 
Okay, I'm gonna bag this. The lucky egg is definitely useful. Okay. Come on, let me pick you up. And now, Zubat. Zubat is going to be replaced. Okay, so I'm gonna pick another random. Okay, okay, uh, where I'm gonna stop, nobody knows. Okay, so we're at Endora. So this one has a sunstone. I have a feeling that I know what it is. Chances are. But I'm gonna take it anyway. And I'm going to go and hatch two of these Pokemon. And then I'm gonna take my event Pokemon. You guys better have set that happiness to zero. You guys better have. I swear. You better. Come on. I don't know what it is with these eggs. Maybe they don't like me. Seriously, come on. Just hatch already. I love you. If that helps you hatch. Actually, no. It, it would decrease its friendship if I said I didn't love it. So maybe that's for the best. Skipping frames all day. Skipping frames all day. Okay, finally. And... Whoa! Now! Hold up! Hold up! Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is mad power. Okay, I have to, like, what? Okay, so Pristo Black doesn't fit. So I'm going to put Pristo B dot, and where's the question mark? Okay, so that's that. That is Wow! Holy shit, man. I gotta take a look at this guy. It's an adamant nature. Cool. Fuse Ray, Shadow Sneak, Curse, Pursuit. I like this moveset. And there and it's legit too. It's very it's truly legit. I love this. This is wow. I am astonished by this. I'm really not sure if I should give it a dark type background or a ghost type background. I'll look at his first typing. Okay, hatch second egg. Skipping frames, skipping frames. I don't care. Come on. Move for me. Hatch. I will crack the egg open if you don't hatch. I probably should have did this like in a montage and did like a in game like in the middle recording grinding session just like so I wouldn't need to worry about it. Okay, so now All right. Okay. We have an Oddish. Sunstone Oddish uh Blossom, I do believe. So now I what nickname is it? Endora. Endora was the nickname. Which I think is an amazing nickname actually. It's really it's really awesome. Okay, so we have both Endora and Pristo Black with us now. So I need to double check the levels on the Shinx and the Zubat. I do believe and uh, Zubat was exchanged for uh, Endora and Shinx. What? Well, yeah, Shinx level seven, Zubat level eight. So Oddish level eight and Spirit Tomb level seven. Okay, so that's how this is gonna work. All right, I'm good. Now I understand why Pristo Black was holding the lucky egg. So now I'm going to give it to its rightful owner. And the Sunstone. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to get me some rare candies. Okay, give me some of them rare candies. Okay, 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 okay. You need to go up to level 7. Man, this is just a hassle. It really is. I'm just, like, completely taken back by the fact they sent me a spear tomb. Like, wow. Faint attack? No, I'd rather have pursuit. I know faint attack packs more power, but I don't care. Okay, so you go to level 8. I never even checked Endora's moves. I really want to, though. Come on, come on. 
Wants to learn Sweet Scent. No, I don't want to learn Sweet Scent. And what? Two more, actually. Okay, now Endora is caught up to the rest of them. I need to check her move set. Okay, turn down, turn down. Okay, so it's a modest nature absorbing grain razor leaf synthesis. That all grass move set. That all grass move set. Okay, well that's not even bad. It's not even bad. I'm going to I need to deposit a Pokemon just for a moment. I'm not depositing it permanently. I just want to hatch another egg. I want to get my event Pokemon. So you are going to sit down. You need to sit down. And take a timeout, mister. Well, it's a missus. So we are going to go talk to this kid, our guy, which I'm just going to take Bulbasaur. It doesn't really matter. So I received a Bulbasaur. Don't want to nickname it. Don't even ask me to nickname it because it's not. No! Okay, look out for more quiz masters. Okay. Do you guys remember that show, Duel Masters? I remember that. I was kind of like, I don't know. They tried so hard to be like Yu-Gi-Oh. But anyway, this Bulbasaur is a level 10, and it has the hidden ability. Wow. Okay, so I got to go to the first box. I'm going to go to the first box, and I'm going to pick a guy from these bottom two rows, bottom two rows, bottom two rows, bottom two rows. I'm going to pick that one. I'm going to pick that one. I need to see what it is, and if it has an item. So, Connor... All right, Connor it is. So now we're going to hatch this guy, and we are going to take a quick look and see what Pokemon this is. Hurry it up. We never really accomplished very much this episode. We just had encounters after encounters. That was it. But there isn't really much I can do without grinding. That's the only thing. It's really unfortunate. I'm not sure if I should make these episodes longer, like if I should make them into hour-long episodes just to get as much done as I possibly can. Um, because with the egg lock, hatching eggs and getting captures and exchanging eggs is just... It takes time. It takes time that I wish I didn't have to take, but it's all part of it. So now, this egg is going to hatch into a turd twig! Yes! This is what I'm talking about! Now we have two grass types. We have two grass types, which is rather unfortunate. His name is Connor the Turtwig. Okay, so Connor, you are in. I feel bad, but Connor is going to be a higher level, so I'm probably going to use Connor instead of Endora right now. I I really am like I like at least I know that I have a solid backup in a Blossom if Connor were to fall. So, I mean, I'm really sorry to whoever sent in Dora. I'm, I apologize. It's just, it's just, I don't know, level 10 versus a level 8 is really just the smartest thing to do. It's the most logical thing to do. And I'm sure at some point I will definitely use Endora. So, I'm just going to rare candy up to level 10, making, okay, wants to learn Absorb. What moves do you even have? Whoa, now, whoa, now. That is crazy! Calm down! Holy crap, this thing is powerful! That superpower is just gonna play such a big role when we fight Whitney. And you know what I'm gonna do now? As dumb as it may be, I'm actually going to do a grinding montage right now, rather than do it before the start of the next episode, so at least that way I am prepared. I am prepared. No, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 Honestly, I think that I can handle it. Because we're going to Bellsprout Tower. We're going to Bellsprout Tower. So I think, personally, I can handle it. So I'm going to take my chances. We're going to take our Proxens. We are going to run to Bellsprout Tower. Considering that we're going to be fighting a lot of Bellsprouts and Hoodoots. I'm going to take my chances. Because Ancient Power is real on this Charmander. And, I mean, okay. Oh, man, this music is just great. 
it was a nice decision to actually go by go for the DS sounds because I just wanted to experience it. But at the same time, nostalgia was an a, like a prominent factor, and that's why I wanted to ask you guys how you felt about it. So you have a Sun Kern, and I have a flamethrower for you. And you are finished. You are toast. Okay, Ralts. How am I going to deal with Ralts? I'm going to go into Crystal B. Let me just take a quick look at what Crystal B can do. We are going to go for the... Both are stab. I'm going to go for the Shadow Sneak. And it takes it in one hit. And the Lucky Egg just like, wow. The Lucky Egg just makes everything just so amazing. Okay, so we have a bell sprout on our hands right now. I'm going to go back into Proxense. Proxense is packing that really powerful flamethrower, so I'm just going to, like, just fry it, toast it, smolder it, whatever word that involves flame. Okay, another bell sprout, so I'm just going to flamethrower this one as well. I, I kind of wanted to get at least one thing done. Okay, so we have the option to learn smokescreen. And I'm going to give up on smoke screen actually. We had the option of learning smoke screen. Uh, I kind of wanted to get at least one thing done in this episode. I can catch this Pokemon. I can catch this Pokemon. Before I do anything else, I can catch this Pokemon. I'm going to go for a hidden power. Okay, you go for Bide. You go for Bide. I can go for one more hidden power. That's what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to switch into Spear Tomb, because Bide will not even hit me. Man, that's so amazing about Crystal B. Crystal B is just... What? Bide still hits? No way! No, that is a ripoff. That is bullshit. I call bullshit on that. That is stupid. Wow. Oh my god, you are so stupid. I hate you, Meditate. I really hate you. And you broke out. You, you, you go ahead. You go right ahead and meditate. You go right ahead and meditate. And I caught it, finally. You bitch, I hate you. It meditates to heighten its inner energy and float in the air. It eats one berry a day and abides the shit out of everything. Ugh! Okay, I'm just gonna move forward. I'm just gonna move forward. That was devastating. I'm, I'm just going to be like spending the rest of the episode trying to compose myself. Wow, we stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokemon. That's nice. The wild Pokemon here don't seem to do that though. Okay, so I am going to blaze kick the shit out of you. And you die. I can still take the lucky egg from... Okay, so I can learn taunt. I'm going to keep the moves I have. I'm going to actually give the lucky egg to some... I might give it to adamantium because adamantium does level up a, a, like a little bit slower. I'm going to go into integral and thunder punch this polywag into oblivion. Because I am really upset right now and I don't want to waste my time on stupid polywags. Okay, you can go into an execute... A bug type move would be excellent right now, but anyway, I'm gonna go for the ice punch. Ice punch does about half. Uproar. Okay, okay. So that didn't that didn't do too much. So we're all good. All right. Well then, that trainer is also defeated, and you want to learn low kick. The only time that low kick would be good would be against what's her name, Jasmine Steelix. So I don't really have a purpose for it, considering I already have Crash Chat. Oh no, not this nonsense. Not this nonsense. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode with a glitch. So, I will be doing a grinding montage at the start of the following episode. So all I have to say is if you want to listen to Rebellion, all you have to do is sucker punch that subscribe button, heck sucker punch that like button. Every little bit will help. And I will be back with bigger and better Pokemon videos. And do not forget to send me eggs. Peace out, guys.